On a real high from their Champions League victory over Real Madrid, runaway leaders Paris Saint-Germain look to extend their unbeaten domestic run to 16 games when they travel to face Nantes. Les Canaries were also in good form, having made it two wins from their last three with a 1-0 victory over Rance last weekend and had the chance to move as high as the top five if they could secure a fifth successive home win and other results went their way. They'll be coming up against a side against whom they had lost 46% of their top flight games, however, the highest loss rate against any top flight opponent. But this was not a game that was going to follow the script. After just four minutes amid the fog, the hosts would take the lead. Great work down the left between Randall Kolumouani and Moses Simon. The Nigerian playing a through ball with the outside of his boot and the Frenchman finding the net with the outside of his. Neat finish by Kolumouani through the legs of the onrushing Kayla Navas. 23-year-old now involved in each of Nantes' last four goals against PSG. Shortly after, Andre Girotto with a speculative effort from distance. Navas able to gather up at the second attempt. After just over a quarter of an hour, Nantes had doubled their lead. Ludovic Blads trying to poke it through to Simon, cut out. Quentin Merlin beating Thilo Carrer to the ball, playing it out to Osman Bukhari on the right, asking for it back, and then finding the top corner with an absolute stunner. A piece of magic from Merlin. First goal of the teenager's professional career, and what a way to do it. Only the third time that PSG have conceded at least two goals before the 20th minute of a league match in the Qatari era. Kylian Mbappe unable to pull one back. Denied by Alban Lafont. The first half would have one final sting in the tail for the Parisians. Corn from the right. Jean-Charles Castelletto with the header. Ginny Wijnaldum with his hand raised in an unnatural position. And after a VAR check. The referee pointing to the spot. So into the fifth minute of additional time and Blas blasting the ball down the middle to make it 3-0 to Le Canary. So Messi's 800th club match, the half-time scoreline written on the back of his shirt. The great Argentine on the wrong end of it. Monk had conceded at least one goal in each of their last 21 Liga 1 Uber Eats games against PSG though. Their longest such streak ever against a top flight opponent. How many could the Parisians get back on this occasion? They found one almost immediately. Barely 60 seconds into the second period. Messi finding Neymar in the box. Cutting inside and finding the net. Brazilian scoring in his first league game back from injury. First goal since early November. Shades of their Barcelona best from the world-class duo. Ten minutes later, PSG would have an excellent chance for a second. Messi releasing Mbappe and the forward brought down by the sliding Denis Appiah as he cut back. Penalty the decision. Neymar the man to step up. A stuttered run up. An awful penalty. Lafon has now saved three of the last four spot kicks he has faced. He's also responsible for three of the last four penalty saves across the top flight. PSG would create plenty more chances but no more goals. A stellar performance and a famous victory for Nantes. Move up to seventh in the standings. A frustrating day for PSG. Not too big a dent in their title hopes. Still with a 13-point advantage as we head rapidly towards the final quarter of the season.